So in this video, we will learn how to create WordPress post in bulk using Google Sheets. So imagine this, you are a blogger and you want to create hundreds of posts from the data that you have stored in Google Sheets. So here you have two choices. The first choice is copy all the content from Google Sheets, sort it out individually, upload the image and publish the post. But this approach is actually very lengthy and tiresome considering you have to publish many many posts on WordPress. So here I would suggest that you bring in some automation so that whenever the data is entered in Google Sheets automatically create a post on WordPress. So in this video we will be using Pabli Connect to integrate Google Sheets and WordPress. The best part of using Pabli Connect is there is no need for coding skills or programming knowledge. It can be done easily. Let me show you with an example. Okay, so basically this is my Google Sheet and these are the columns I have title, content and the image URL. So basically this will act as the title of the WordPress post. This section will act as the content of the WordPress post and of course this will be set as the image. Okay, so basically the basically I have set a particular time at which this post will be published. And let me just take you to the first post that has been published. So this is the post, okay, phones. So this is the title, okay, so this is the title. And then we have the content, okay. So basically this is the content. Basically we have the same detail, okay. As you can see, we have the same detail here. And this is the image URL, okay. So basically if you open the image URL, we will find the same image here, okay. Basically we have the same image. Now uh, we have uh, the next title that is laptop. And this is the content and this is the image URL. Then we have chargers, then we have the content and this is the associated image. And at the last we have the last title that is the trackpad. Okay, and this is the content and this is the associated image. So as you can see, these are the uh, posts that has been published. One of them is the first one that is phones. Okay, this is the first title that has been published. So your obvious question is what about the rest of them? So as I mentioned earlier, the rest of the post will be published at a particular scheduled time. So the scheduled time is approaching. So let me just refresh this. Okay. So you will see the rest of the post here. Okay. So as you can see, the scheduler has run and we have the titles, the trackpad. So that's the basically the last one trackpad. And then we have the wristwatch. Okay. So the wristwatch it is. And this is, this is the about chargers. Okay and uh, then we have the last that is laptop that is the second one and of course we already know the phone so basically the post has been all created now i'm not going to show all of these posts okay because it will take a significant amount of time so let us uh, start with the integration so in the new tab let me just type pabli.com so your obvious question is why pabli.com well we have an app called as pabli connect that will integrate google sheets and wordpress so let me just click on sign in Okay, so this is the dashboard of Public Connect. As you can see, I already have made an account in Public Connect. You can also build your own free account in just two minutes. So let me just uh, scroll down and here you will find Connect. Just click on Access Now. Okay, so basically we are going to create a new workflow. Now before we create a new workflow, there is something I have to do. So let me just uh, scroll down. So as you can see, there is already an integration that has integrated Google Sheets and WordPress. So I'm going to switch off this workflow. The reason I'm switching off this workflow is since we are going to create a new integration workflow, this old integration workflow will create the problem of duplication of result. Basically the same post will be repeated twice. So we don't want that. So that is why I have switched off this workflow. Okay, so let me just click on create workflow and I'm going to give a name to this workflow. So the name I'm going to give it as how about Google Sheets new bulk post to WordPress. Of course, you can give any name according to your discretion. I have given a very long name. Okay, so basically this is the trigger window. Now, basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up a mechanism by which it will create post or publish bulk post at a scheduled time. So that is why I'm going to use the app as schedule. Schedule by Pabli, this one. 
Okay, so now we have three choices in case of run scenario at regular intervals, once or every day. We basically want to run this at once for once. Okay, it doesn't make sense that at regular intervals or every day. We only want it to run for once, only once. Okay, so now it is asking for the date when it should run. Now we have to schedule the date. Now there is something you should know. Before scheduling, we have to know the format of the date. The date we are going to use is UTC format. So basically UTC means universal coordinated time. So if you don't understand this, let me tell you this. Uh, I am from India. Okay, I am working from India and we follow Indian standard time. Now if you are from Brazil, you will be following Brazil standard time. If you are from London, you will be following London standard time. So basically we all have different time zones and the difference in this time zone will always create some problems. That is why we have one single time unit that is universal coordinated time okay so let me just explain you for example i plan to uh, run this uh, um, workflow basically i want to rig this workflow at let's say 4 30 okay at present it's around uh, 3 47 so basically i want to run this um, uh, event at 4 30 a.m so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to a website that is UTC to IST. Okay, so basically you just have to search in your browser UST to IST or your time zone UTC to BST or UTC to your time zone. So in my case, I'm from India. So I'm following Indian standard time and I want to schedule the time scheduled to rig this workflow at 4.30 a.m. So the associated UTC time is 11 p.m. Okay, I hope you get it. So that is why here I'm just taking you to public connect. I'm going to mention it as 11. That is basically 2300. Okay, I repeat again. The idea is that we are going to send the data at 4.30 a.m. That is why the associated UTC time is 11 p.m. And that is why I have mentioned it as 23. Okay, so let me just click on save okay so the schedule has been saved successfully so we basically worked with time now we have to work with data so to work with data let me introduce uh, this plus button and let me just uh, create one more window so this window is called as the action window now basically i have created one more google sheet okay so these are the columns we have title content and image url basically it's the it's basically the same old uh, data we have but with different titles so we have super phones laptop in 2022 basically we have very different titles and the content and the image url but the but the data base is basically the same okay so we have the title so basically we have to send all this data to public connect so let me just show you how it can be done first of all we have to choose the app as google sheet because all our data is present in our google sheets that is why google sheets it is now in the action event how about we make it as get row okay so get row is an action event now all we have to do is just click on connect in the new connection name all we have to do is connect with google sheets now we have to choose an app now uh, now we have to choose an account now as you can see we have a series of gmail account now this particular google sheet okay is present in this account so i'm selecting this one now it is asking me to come for my choice so before i click on allow let me tell you something public connect doesn't take any chances with your data your data is 100 percent safe and secure with us so on the basis of that trust let me just press allow okay excellent the authorization is successful just press ok now by default it is already presenting the spreadsheet that is new post wordpress data so basically this is the name new post wordpress data okay so i'm not going to change that now comes the most important part the range so basically this is the range i want to send the data from this cell to this cell okay so basically this cell is a2 and this cell is c6 so i want to send the data from here to here i have selected the range so this is my range a2 to c6 i have copied it and i'm going to paste it here okay easy so at this point, all we have to do is just click on save and send test request to get all this data into public connect. So let me do that. Okay, so as you can see, we do have the data. So the first uh, cell was about super phones and we do have the data that is the title that is super phones. And this is the associated uh, content. 
okay so let's have a look at the second data so the second data is uh, about the laptops in 2022 laptops in 2022 yes we do have the data laptops in 22 and this is the associated image and this is the associated content so let's have a look at the last one that is uh, cool track okay so cool track pad so let me just have a look yes we do have the thing the same data that is cool track pad so we have successfully sent all this data to public connect now basically we have to work with a prototype so the idea is that we are going to select one set of data work some conditions on it so that the other data will work the same for example we have the first uh, data type that is uh, that is i think super phones yes Okay, so basically the idea is that we are going to work on this particular data and the same process will be repeated on the next. So basically we have to bring in the iterators. So in case of super phone, it will be the first iteration. Okay, the first row, okay, the data of the first row will be our first iteration. This one will be the second iteration and so on. And this will continue up the last iteration that is cool trackpad. Okay, the last iteration will be about cool trackpad. So before I bring in this iterator, there is something I have to do first. I'm going to toggle this to the left, okay? And I'm going to contents all this data in one single array. So once again, let me just click on save and send test request. Okay, so this is the data. Okay, so as you can see, we have all the data in a condensed format. It is very clumsy, you won't really understand. So basically, all this data is now in a very condensed array format. Now we are going to use the iterator. So let me just click on this plus button okay so i hope you get the idea of iterator basically we are going to work with the first row then we are going to work with the second row then the third row so basically these are bunch of iteration this will continue at the loop finishes at the sixth one that is the cool trackpad okay so i hope it is clear so iterator it is okay so it's already chosen the array so basically this is the array okay so all we have to do is at this point just click on save and send test request so when we click on save and send test request, it will fetch the data of super phones. Okay, this whole data will be captured. So your obvious question is what about the rest? The next, the rest will be the second, third, fourth and fifth iteration. Okay, so I hope it is clear. So let me just click on save and send test request. Okay, so as you can see, it is only showing the data of super phones. Okay, so we have the data of super phones. We have the title, we have the content and the associated image URL. Okay, excellent. Now what I'm going to do here is there is one problem with it. As you can see, we do have the data that is the title, the content and the image URL. But these are all in a very clumsy format. We actually want this individual data. For example, I just want the title. Okay. I just want then I want the content and then I just want the individual uh, individual URL of the image. So basically, we just want to sort each of them out. So that is why I'm going to use one more action window. And in this action window, I'm going to use JSON extractor. This one. In the action event, there is only one action event, extract JSON data. Then just click on connect. Okay, so we have to map the data. So basically, this is our data. Okay, so this is our data. Let me just, okay. So this is our data. We basically are going to map this particular data here. Okay, so let me just click here. Click on iterator and we have mapped it excellent all we have to do is just click on save and send test request okay so we have the data so as you can see we have the individual title the individual content and the individual image url excellent so using all this data we are going to create our first post and then the iteration will run the iteration will run and make sure the second post is published then the third post the fourth post and fifth post okay and this will continue so let me just introduce uh, another action window i promise you this is the last action window and here i'm just going to add wordpress wordpress it is now in the action event how about we make it as create a post okay so create a post is an action event now let me just click on connect now in the new connection name we have to fill three blanks okay so basically we have to fill the username we have to fill the e basically we have to fill the password and then we have to fill the associated url base url so before we fill all this detail there is something that you should know there is a plugin that you have to install the name of the plugin is wp api basic authentication in my case this plugin has already been installed now if you want you must actually install now if you, if you don't know how to install go to plugin section 
click on new and after new just basically copy this uh, plugin name go to the search paste this uh, plugin name and just hit on search after that just install the plugin and then activate it easy now since you're working with wordpress you already know how to install a plugin i'm not going to really teach you that okay so it's necessary that you install this plugin activate it okay so after that so let me just uh, i'm assuming that you have uh, activated the plugin so this is my username this is my password and this is the associated base url so basically this is the base url i'm just going to show you so i'm just going to copy this up to here and i'm going to paste it here easy okay so this is the base url this is the username this is the e this is the password all we have to do is just click on save okay so when you click on save a set of fields has appeared in front of you the purpose of these fields is very simple we are going to create a post in wordpress from the data that we have received from google sheets via public connect now first of all we will begin with the post title okay let's ignore this for a while post content let's start with the post title so basically this is the easy one so that is why we have started okay so we have to go to the fourth accordion okay because we have the individual data and let me just scroll down and this is the post title super phones we have added it now coming to the post title post content now in the post content i am going to make sure that the image url as well as the content comes okay so basically we are going to map two details the image url and the post content first of all let's deal with the image url so basically this is how you add the image url first of all you have to enter this particular code okay so this is a small code that you have to add image src is equal to a pair of double quotes slash image once again and inside this particular uh, code all you have to do is just bring your cursor here and inside this pair of double quotes we are going to map the image url so this is the image url excellent now we are going to map the content so this is the content okay let me just add the content i think this is the content and we have mapped it okay now coming to the excerpt we are just not going to do anything the status i'm straight away keeping it as published now we do have a choice that you can keep it as draft pending and future i'm keeping it as published now in the categories we have a ton of categories now basically if you add more categories to your wordpress it will be reflected here i'm going with uncategorized now in the tags again if you add more tags it will be shown here so i'm keeping with ifttt okay so basically we have filled sufficient details to create a post in wordpress all we have to do is just click on save and send test request okay so let's have a look in wordpress do we have the post that is super phones so let me just uh, refresh this okay yeah we do have the post about super phones now your obvious question is what about the rest of them okay so what about the rest of them now as you may remember we have rigged okay we have basically rigged to uh, create post on a particular time okay so the utc format for this post is uh, utc format for that particular scheduled time is 11 pm and the associated indian standard time is 11 uh, i mean 4 30 a.m okay i repeat so basically at 4 30 a.m at present it is 4 a.m okay so at 4 30 a.m we will get the we will get the we will get all rest of the post so i'm not going to wait till that so basically before i am before we end this let me just explain you the whole mechanism in a nutshell so i'm just going to minimize all of my windows okay all my windows all the action window as well as the trigger window so basically this is the whole process in a nutshell first of all you have scheduled a particular time in my case i have scheduled it at 4 a.m the associated utc time is 11 30 p.m now then we have extracted all the data from google sheet after that you have run the iterator the purpose of the iterator is you are going to sort each data row one by one until it finishes the loop and then you have used the json extractor so that you can sort out the data individually and then of course you have integrated wordpress to public connect to create a post so now there's a perfect flow of data between google sheets and wordpress excellent